Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How much will depend on your location? Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Tension asks three truck load of soldiers storm Unizik to unseat acting vice chancellor. Oh, yes. Now, the campus of Namdazikiwe University, Oka, was greeted with tension on Saturday. Yes, when three truckload of soldiers stormed the university campus. Oh, yes, talking about uh, the vice chancellor, the active vice chancellor of the institution, Professor Joe Ikechebelo. Yes, the soldiers came to forcefully remove him. Yes, they came on Saturday morning to remove the acting vice chancellor. Oh, yes. Now, at the expiration of the tenure of the former vice chancellor, Professor Charles Okachuku Eshimone, Professor Ike Chebalo had two months ago been named the acting vice chancellor of the university, that's UNICEF. Now, one ambassador, Greg Mbadiwe, had conveyed an emergency meeting of the council, intimating of the plan to remove Ike Chebalo as vice chancellor. Now, they said a memo from the university, which was made available to newsmen, stated that two professors of the university have been scheduled to replace Ike Chebalo. Now, look at the professors Professor Karo Arenze Umobi and Professor FJC Odibo. Now, Mbadiwe led council had empowered a few professors in the university to hold the Senate meeting and had penciled down the two professors with the aim of removing, removing Ike Chebalo. Look at the memo. Quote, Resolution of the emergency meeting of Senate held on 19th July 2024 at the University Auditorium. In response to the memo by the Prof. Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council of Namdazikwe University, Appointment of Acting Vice Chancellor, dated July 11, 2024, requesting the Secretary to Council to convey to the Senate the directive of the Governing Council to nominate and furnish the Council with the names of two former Deputy Vice Chancellors who are above 66 years and below 70 years for consideration for appointment to the position of Acting Vice Chancellor of Namdazikwe University. The Senate of Namdazikwe University in the emergency meeting of this day, Friday, July 19, 2024, nominated the following as the only two qualified candidates for council consideration. That's number one, Professor Karo Arinze Umobi, date of birth 7 July 1957, retirement date 7 July 2027. Second, Professor F.J.C. Odebo, date of birth 13th April, 1955, retirement date, 13th April, 2025. End of quote. Yes. Now, this is what is causing the problem now. In the university community, the Senate, they conveyed their memo and saying that these people will be selected to replace the acting vice chancellor, Ike Chibalo. And the university students say, no, the students are, you know, they are actually supporting their vice chancellor, the acting vice chancellor. Yes, that is what is happening. Yes, because uh, as of this time, the National Association of Nigerian Students have mobilized in their numbers in solidarity of the acting vice chancellor, Ike Chibalo. Yes, they said he has the integrity and has performed creatively since his appointment. So then said, no way, it's not going anywhere. But the Greg Mbadiwe led council, governing council, said no, he must go. You have seen this, what's happening there? So, but why we are concerned is the fact that soldiers, truckload of soldiers to intimidate what? Or what's happening there? That's our concern because uh, these guys, you know what they're doing? They are terrorists. But as as uh, you know, you know, soldiers. Yes. So why bring the
truck load of soldiers, three truck load inside the university campus. For what? What is happening? Just to remove active vice chancellor or to kill students. What is that for? It has to be settled amicably without bringing these terrorists. Yes. So this, this uh, council or governing council or whatever they call themselves, they didn't go and sack these guys from that place. Or else they will see. They will not live there with their, with their you know, this thing intact. Yes. They will not live there with their legs. They will not walk out of that place with their legs. They will not walk out of that university community with their legs. Let them move out from that place. It's not a military, it's not a war situation, it's not a war, it's not a war torn area. Why trade truck load of soldiers? It's a university campus. Because the the, the, the vice chancellor is who is acting is there, and you want to remove him by brute force. So, so is it to attack the students who said they love their vice chancellor? Who is acting? Yes. So this is nonsense. This is nonsense. It's unacceptable. Let this governing council, let them act wisely now before this, this situation escalates. If it escalates, it will not be in the favor of any person. Yes. It will not be in the favor of any individual group. Yes. So let them be wise now. Send this terrorist in uniform out of that university community. So that students will continue their lecture. Yes, that's what we are saying. The acting vice chancellor, the student said, he's teaching them well. He's doing well. He's providing a lot of things for them for, 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 for them to have their you know, conducive environment to learn. And they prefer him. So you want to put someone who will be, you know, looting money, students' money to give to you? Okay? Or to loot money and give to our majesty? In Abuja. Indoshin, indoshin. So that is what is happening. Be wise now. Send the truck of troops out of that place. Out of that place. Out of the university community now. That's what we are saying. So this case have to be, you know, you know, we, we are asking whether these people, whether they have problem with their reasoning. Yes. You are bringing troops truckload of soldiers to in, in a student environment. What do you expect? Conflict. Even the students alone, seeing the soldiers with armed and everything, you think that you know you can maintain peace in such an you know environment. Everything will become hostile. 